All right, today we're continuing with chapter 7, section 1. We're going to be dealing with composition of functions. So right now, what we're going to be doing is we need to interpret what this means and what this means. Everybody, what is this little tiny circle here and here mean? Of. of. Okay? So basically, we're saying this is g of h of x. And this is h of g of x. We're going to find it for both of these. So I'm going to highlight the top one in blue and the bottom one in red. The first thing we're going to find, everybody, is g of h of x, which can also be written just like this. g of h of x. I need you to understand that this statement and this statement mean the exact same thing. They both mean g of h of x. Now, what is g of x by itself equal to? It's simply equal to x plus 3. That's what it's equal to. But this time we actually want to find not g of x, we want to find g of h of x and see what that's equal to. So what I'm going to do Scroll down just a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take h of x and plug it in everywhere I see the value of x in this function. So instead of x plus 3, what am I going to plug in right here in the place of x? Here you go. You're right, I'm going to plug in 2x squared. Why am I plugging in 2x squared? Because what is h of x actually equal to? h of x is equal to 2x squared. So your final answer, for what is g of h of x equal to? That's equal to 2x squared plus 3. That's your first answer. For the question, what is g of h of x? That's your first answer. All right, I'm going to clear everything out. It's all gone. Once again, we're going to I'm going to highlight g of x in blue and h of x in, in red. But this time, we're going to find h of g. which could also be written as h of g of x. So these mean the exact same thing. Both of them mean what? h of g of x. That's what it means. Okay? h of g of x. What is h of x by itself equal? h of x is simply equal to 2x squared. That's what it's equal to by itself. So basically, when I plug in an x, your answer is 2x squared. So how about this? Maybe this will make a little more sense. What if I said, what is h of 1 equal to? That would be 2 times 1 squared, which would simply equal a 2. If I said, what is h of 2, what would that equal to? 2 times 2 squared, and that would equal 8. So 2 times 2 is squared, times 2 is 8. Right? What if I said, what is h of happy face? That would be 2 times happy face squared, which would equal 2 happy faces squared. I want to know what h of g of x is equal to. So what am I going to start out with? A 2. Then what do I have to open up? A parenthesis. And what am I going to plug in this place? x plus 3. What do I have to do to it? Square it. Does everybody now see the pattern of all you're doing is you're taking this function 
and you're plugging it in the place of wherever your X is. Yes. Yes. All right, that's excellent, excellent. All right, now that everybody understands why we plugged in an X plus three, the next part is where students mess up because they forget that X plus three squared is X plus three times X plus three. Now there's a fast way of multiplying this together. Does anybody remember the fast way, without doing the FOIL method, how we can multiply these suckers together? So without doing the FOIL method, we know we're going to have an x squared. But what's 3 plus 3? We're going to put 6 x's. And what's 3 times 3? 9. And that's the sum of squares. All you got to do is take this and add it to itself and you get that. So, by the way, before we get going too fast, let's do this one real quick. What if I said x minus 7 squared? What would that answer be? x squared minus 14x plus 49. So all you had to do was do what? Add this sucker together to get the middle, multiply it together to get the end. That's a horrible error. All right? Well, we're going to go back to this one. So we're almost done. Right now we have h of g of x equal to this. What's the last thing that we would have to do if we're finally done? Multiply. multiply everything by a 2. So here's your final answer. h of g of x equals 2x squared plus 12x plus 18. That is your other answer. Okay? What did this one represent? This was h of g of x. Okay? Alright, everybody, what I want you to do now, alright, is I want you guys right now to put in number 9 in your journal. This is going to be really, really, really easy. We'll start with something easy. f of x is simply equal to an x squared. g of x is equal to 5 times x. When it says, what is f of g of 1, I want you to work from the inside out. So the first thing I want you to evaluate is what is g of 1 equal to? That would be 5 times, and what am I going to put in the place of x? 1. So what is g of 1 technically equal to? It's equal to 5. Now that I know what g of 1 is equal to, which is equal to a 5, I want us now to evaluate what is f of 5. Does everybody understand where I got the 5? Because the 5 is equal to what g of 1 is equal to. Now I'm going to evaluate what f of 5 is equal to. So all I have to do is instead of f of x, what am I going to put in its place? So I'm going to say, this is equal to what? 5, and what do I have to do to it? Square it. So what is f of 5 equal to? x squared, which is, this particular case is a 25. So f of g of 1 was equal to a 25. Now, if that doesn't make sense, it's okay. We're going to do another one and go through the pattern one more time. All right, the last problem we're going to do together on this video is problem number 14. But, Austin, I need your help. Before we start problem 14, I need you to remind me, what is f of x by itself equal to? x squared. x squared. I'm going to change colors. What is g of x by itself equal to? 5x. All right. And last but not least, changing colors, what is x? of x equal to x plus, four. x plus 4. Now what did I tell you guys to do? I said work from the what? An inside out. So the first thing I would like you guys to do is I would like you to evaluate what is h of 4. Now h of 4 is equal to 4 plus 4. Now, what was, remember, what was h of x by itself? That was equal to an x plus 4. And all I'm doing is taking 4 and what? Plugging it 
in. So h of 4 is equal to the number what? Number 8. So we ended up with 8. So just in case you're wondering, what was h of 4 equal to? That ended up equaling an 8. Now what am I going to do with this 8? I'm going to go over to this function. Here we go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write g of x equals 5x. But this time, I'm going to evaluate it. What is g of, and what number am I plugging in? But I have to go, I have to, do, I have to go from here, I've got to plug it into here, and then whatever I get here, eventually I've got to take all of this and plug it all into that function. You've got to work from the inside out. So right now I'm evaluating what is g of 8, and that is equal to 5 times 8, because I'm plugging in what? I'm plugging in an 8 where I see an x. So everybody, what is g of 8 equal to? Equal to 40. So right now, if the question, everybody, was what's g of h of 4, the answer to what is g of h of 4, that's simply equal to a 40. Now we're down to the final step. Now I have to evaluate f of x. And f of x is equal to what? x squared. So what am I going to plug in the place of x? I'm going to plug in a 40 for and so now, I'm going to open up a parenthesis. What am I going to plug in? I'm going to plug in a 40, and I'm going to square it. And my final answer for f of 40 is equal to 1,600. So, final answer for what is f of g of h of 4 that would ended up equaling what? 1,600. So let's review real quick. Follow the hand. What did we do? We took the 4 and we plugged it into which function? H of x. We evaluated it. What did we get? We got an 8. Then we took that 8 and we plugged it in where? G of x. And what did we get? We got a 40. And then we took the 40 and where did we plug it in? F of x. And what did we get? We got 1,600. So you had to work from the inside out. And that's your final